talking about the most effective and simplest loop ever. You possibly guessed it if you saw this guy in the intro and realized that it was a stomp pedal which provides a kick sound, kind of like a kick drum in the mix, that I used to use when I was booked for parties and solo shows just stomping on this all night long to kind of get everyone dancing because venues had only paid for one man band. Well, one man. Uh, I don't know that I was really a band at that point. Um, but this was so, so crucial to me, uh, being able to do those shows, being able to get everyone up dancing. There's an awesome way that you can add in four to the floor under your loops that you can do super subtly or you can really crank it out and have everyone party and uh, maybe we should just, maybe I should just give you an example of kind of what that looks like. Let's do that. You might want to set this up just subtly. Uh, I'm using no extra pedals, uh, just the guitar, no OC3, you know, so we'll kind of go mid, but uh, this is the loop. That's all it is, it's gonna keep going. And, uh, but you can play if you're now free as a guitarist, if you, if you just play guitar and maybe you've just bought a loop pedal to play whatever you want over this. think it's such a good loop if you are just starting out because sure there's some things you're going to build on but if you've worked out maybe you've worked out three or four loop songs and you're like man now when I play this song it kind of feels empty then maybe you can just sit in a nice little groove just under it um, if you're playing a Sunday afternoon you know maybe you don't want to really crank up uh, the bottom end and, and rock it. Maybe you do. I don't know what sort of show you're doing. It might be nice and chilled and it might be epic. Uh, the time is kind of irrelevant. So I hope that's useful for you. It's, I was thinking about it this week and I was like, it's just, it's kind of cool. I still use it for a lot of shows. One thing you can add to this, obviously, is maybe you want to think about 
overdubbing and maybe you record two bars of it or four bars because as you can see you can play a whole lot of songs over it and then maybe use the undo redo that we talked about last time so that a couple of songs you really build up and then you just undo them and you're back to having this again so uh that's it video's over <laughs> I'd love to see what you come up with or how useful this is for you because like this is obviously crazy simple. You can all do this this afternoon and go away and play it and you can put it into, sh if you're watching this now and you have a show tonight, uh, test it out. Obviously you want your, your tempo and timing to work and that little bunch of songs there that I put together, uh, it's a bit lenient really on timing because they're all different. But it was fun to put them together in a little uh, <laughs> a little sequence for you, um, just to get a bit of a flavour of maybe what you can do and, and, and help throw some ideas around so that you can experiment more and come up with something of your own. Hey.